Hello and welcome to the Playing Outside the Changes course. This course is something a lot of you guys wanted me to create. I'm always happy to help, but first, let me caution you about a few things. Number one, playing outside the changes is almost like a musical fetish, especially among beginners and intermediate players. Many musicians and music students seem to have this strange fascination with playing outside the chord changes. Well, I've got news for you. It really isn't a superpower. It's just one more musical tool for your musical toolbox. And it's a tool that's very easy to overuse and abuse, which in turn will make you sound bad and corny. Please use it carefully and in good taste. Number two. In a way, there's really no such thing as playing outside the changes. Over time, the more you grow as a musician, and the more your ears evolve and develop, the more different notes you are able to hear on top of the chord changes you're playing, whatever those changes are. And so, instead of certain notes being outside the harmony, with time and practice, to you, these notes simply become extensions of the harmony. They no longer occur as outside notes to you when your ear and inner listener evolve sufficiently. And lastly, number three, in my experience, many people who are interested in how to play outside the changes could still be doing a better job at playing inside the changes. <laughs> So please don't be one of those people. Learn how to play inside the changes really well, okay? But for now, buckle up and get ready to take in a lot of new information because we're about to dive into what makes this elusive and mysterious sound of playing outside the changes work the way it does and have the effect that it has. And you are about to learn how to integrate this sound into your own playing. Let's do it. Right, so here we are trying to figure out how to play outside the changes. Just by the logic of the words of it, it already kind of sounds strange, right? After all, people spend years trying to learn how to play inside the changes, and yet not all playing outside the changes were created equal. When someone plays outside the changes because they don't know how to play in changes, it sounds like a bunch of mistakes. When someone plays outside the changes deliberately, as an improvisational tool, it does not sound like a bunch of mistakes. It actually sounds awesome. So what's the difference? Something is making these wrong notes sound right. What is it? Well, it's a lot of things, and we're gonna cover all these things in this video course. But the most important one, the fundamental pillar, is this. Let's look at it as melody logic versus harmony logic. Which one is stronger? Here's a melody. Da, 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 da. Right? Do you see how it's logical? Da, 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 da. Right? There's a melodic logic to it. There's, it's not just... Right? It's not just a bunch of random crap. There's a logic to this melody. Da, 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 da. There's a repetition of the da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Right, so that's the logic inside this melody. And in a few moments, you will find out how this logic is why playing outside the changes doesn't sound bad when done right. So usually your ear doesn't need all this explanation. It just catches the melodic logic, right? Da, 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 da. You just catch the melodic logic, right? Now let's see. I'm playing it in F. Now, this melody makes melodic sense and harmonic sense, right? We're playing it over F. Stay with me now. But what if we were to say, let's keep the melodic sense in the melody, dum, da -dum, dum, 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 but let's take this harmonic logic that is in the same key as the melody, and let's remove it. Now I'm playing it over F sharp. 
Let me play it over F again. Now I'm playing it over F sharp. Notice something. Yeah, you can tell that something is off. You can tell that there is no harmonic sense so much. But it doesn't sound like a bunch of mistakes either, does it? There are several reasons why it doesn't, like common tones, etc. But the main reason it doesn't sound like a bunch of mistakes is because melody logic is always stronger than harmony logic. Let me repeat that. Melody logic is always stronger than harmony logic. In other words, even if you take a melody and play the wrong chords under it, your ear will still register the melodic logic of that melody. And because the melody has melodic logic in it, your ear will justify the rub that the melody has against the harmony. Melody logic is always stronger than harmony logic. I hope you're starting to see how this applies to the subject of playing outside the chord changes. Even when you're playing outside the changes, if what you're playing has strong melodic qualities to it, it will never sound completely wrong. It will always grab the ear with its melodic logic and its melodic content, even when it rubs against the harmony. So let me give you a couple more examples. Here's a melody. Okay, so this melody is in the key of C. Where is the melodic logic in it? I'm sure your ears are already catching it, but let's get nerdy about it for just one second. So, first phrase, da, 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 repeats twice, da, da, da. That's already establishing a pattern, something you can trace, right? Da, 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 da. Something repeating is already sort of creates its own logic. So, da, 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 da. This is a repetition. Repetition always creates a need for what? Repetition creates a need for change, right? Change creates a need for repetition. Repetition creates a need for change. So let's see how this change happens in the melody. So da, 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 da. we do a big leap already far away from where we were. That's a change. What's another change here? This phrase is going upwards. Da, 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 da while these prior phrases were going downwards. Da, 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 da. Right? See the logic? So that's the melody logic. It's pretty strong. Well, now let's see if the melody logic in this phrase is strong enough to withstand an absence of harmony logic and still not sound completely terrible. What if I play something else? None of this sounds terrible. Yeah, you can hear the absence of harmony logic. You can hear the rub the melody has with the chords, but it doesn't sound bad. You see, that's in essence what playing outside the changes means.